Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you get your news not two weeks late. And this week is the week of January 10th, 2022, and we get five topics. The first one is the FAA has approved a BV loss corridor in New York. We'll talk about all the details there. Uh, a DJI Matrice was uh, used to save somebody's life. This is actually a really cool story. Uh, Next one is kind of a bizarre story. A woman spent $12,500 on a drone show for her dog's birthday party. Uh, kind of uh, a crazy story. And then we'll talk about, speaking of drone shows, we'll talk about a UAV, uh, UAE drone show that set uh, two world records. And uh, quite frankly, probably the most impressive uh, drone show I've ever seen in my life. And then lastly, the new deep dive course that we're going to put out. We'll talk about that in a second. So let's get to it. And the first story this week, the FAA has approved a BV loss corridor in New York. Now, you may be asking what a BV loss corridor, BV loss beyond visual line of sight. Uh, this is going to be an area of uh, 35 miles long where drones can fly beyond visual line of sight. Now, I'm going to say hold off for a second. Uh, you and I probably not the people that are going to be flying in this just yet. Uh, there's this, this company, New Air, that is going to deploy a ground-based surveillance system to monitor air traffic and visual observers uh, in that specific area. This is mostly at the moment for research, but uh, this is a step in the right direction if you ask me. Uh, as you know, the FAA has put a big emphasis on beyond visual line of sight flights and, uh, and they want to make sure that all of this is being tested. So this is one of the area where they're going to be doing this. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it is going to be interesting to see what comes out of this, if there is any kind of specific data or recommendation. So we'll keep you posted when we have more. All right, and the second story this week is a DJI Matrice saved a life. This happened uh, in Stockholm. A Matrice 600 was used to send an AED device to a man that was suffering from a heart attack. And uh, the man was shoveling snow in his driveway, and he suddenly collapsed. There was a passerby who happened to be a doctor, uh, called emergency services, was uh, attempting to do CPR. And uh, within three minutes, they actually sent an AED to that doctor who happened to be there, and then, uh, and then and then they saved the guy's life. So this is incredible. Uh, there's a, a quote right here that you can see, the person saying, I cannot express how grateful I am for the new technology and the rapid delivery of the defibrillator. He was a 71-year-old man, and he said that uh, if it hadn't been for the drone, probably wouldn't be here. And then there's also a segment about the person who, uh, the doctor who got to the scene. She said she was actually driving and then she saw this person collapse in her driveway. So she stopped, uh, administered CPR, and then was able to call the, the equivalent of 911, which is uh, 112 in Sweden. And then just minutes later, she said the defibrillator just came uh, from a drone. So that was really exciting. I hope we get more of this technology um, put in different places around the country because uh, obviously this is saving lives. So that's pretty cool. Next story this week, kind of a bizarre one. This is a woman in China that spent uh, $12,500 on a drone show for her dog's 10th birthday. Uh, this included 520 drones that spelled out happy 10th birthday to Dudu, whatever the name of the dog was. Uh, you can see images. Uh, there's also a big birthday cake. And obviously you can tell that this week is a bit of a slow week uh, for, <laughs> for news. So we're including this. Just kind of interesting to see what people are doing with drones. But now interestingly, this show happened to be in a no-fly zone, uh, which means that in China, actually, these drones could have been shut down. Uh, the police warned them that next time they would actually shoot at the drones and shoot them down. So uh, just a warning, if you're flying in China, be careful where you fly because they will take your drones down. Now, uh, speaking of crazy drone shows, uh, this is probably the most impressive drone show and fireworks show that I've ever seen in my life. Not that I was there, I wish I was because this is incredible. This happened in the UAE. And, um, and, and we've shown light shows with drones in the past, but this is next level because they're actually using firework on drones during a light show. So it's a light show and a firework show at the same time. Uh, they set two world records. Uh, the first one is the highest altitude for a multi-rotor firework display play and, uh, and, and, and rightfully so because they were flying at 1,055 meters. That's a little over three a little over 3,300 feet uh, in height. You can see from the footage here, this was incredible. Uh, the, the video itself is 15 minutes long, and, uh, and I'm not one to watch videos for a long time, but I was glued to the TV watching this thing. 
and uh, especially the finale. But they were also had another world record, which is the, the most remote operated multi-drone, uh, multi-rotor uh, drone launching fireworks simultaneously. And uh, they had uh, 452 drones uh, flying at the same time and shooting fireworks. So uh, I invite you, we're gonna put a link down here so you can see the full video. Uh, but this is, uh, again, this is just incredible. All right, uh, the last thing this week, uh, kind of uh, a cool thing, we have a new deep dive course coming out for the Hotel Evo 2. Uh, whether you're flying the 6K, the 8K, or actually the 640T, which is the, the thermal drone, we talk about all of these platforms in there. Uh, we show you how to swap the payloads. We show you, well, if you're used to our deep dive, this is uh, another one of these where we go in detail explaining everything you need to know about the drone. Um, if you just got the drone for Christmas or if you plan on buying one or if you're on the fence and maybe you're not sure, this is exactly what you need to be watching. And uh, and that's uh, for free. That's available on our website. You can go to pilotinstitute.com. We'll put a link down here uh, directly to the, uh, to the course. But we hope you enjoy it. We have more of those planned out and um, yeah th those are pretty exciting so that's all I have for this week like subscribe leave your comments do everything you do and we'll talk to you guys next week